1966 was a year of upheaval and change. Race riots marred American cities like Los Angeles and Cleveland. The U.S. started its bombing campaign of North Vietnam. The Beatles performed their final public concerts, and the term Super Bowl had not yet been coined. It was also the year a group of little-known actors embarked on a project that would change their lives and American culture. To boldly go where no man has gone before. 50 years ago this week, the Starship Enterprise flew into our living rooms for the first time. Fire main bases. The original Star Trek television series ran for three years and was canceled after just 79 episodes. Live long and prosper. But the science fiction drama slowly built a cult following on syndicated television. And by the end of the 1970s, became a full-fledged cultural phenomenon. Beam us up. In large part because of its willingness to tackle the moral and social issues confronting the U.S. at the time. The show's original cast, including William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, and George Takei, stayed intact as Star Trek crossed a new frontier onto the silver screen. Six movies featuring Kirk, Spock, and Scotty followed. Does it mean exact change? As did a number of television spin offs. Engage. And a 21st century Hollywood reboot with a cast not even born when that first episode aired in 1966. Magnify, Mr. Sulu. The franchise has generated untold billions of dollars in ticket sales, merchandise, and memorabilia. Much of it spent by Star Trek's loyal fan base, the most ardent of whom became known as Trekkies. Get a life, will you, people? <laughs> but while Trekkies have sometimes been derided, I, I, I mean, for, for crying out loud, it's, it's just a TV show. <laughs> they have been the ones to bring the vision of Star Trek into the realm of reality. Trekkies launched a successful write-in campaign to name NASA's first space shuttle after the Starship Enterprise. And many real-life space travelers credit the show for inspiring them to chart their own course to the stars, including Mae Jemison, who became the first black woman in space. I thought the show was very wonderful because it was one of the first programs that had everybody, all kinds of ethnic groups, together from the United States. Years later, Jemison's story came full circle. She became the first astronaut to appear in a Star Trek TV show. The next transport window opens in 42 seconds. Now, Star Trek could be inspiring the next generation of innovators. A new series, Star Trek Discovery, debuts this January on CBS All Access. Proof that 50 years later, the show continues to live long and prosper. We talk about some of the people the show inspires, but it also inspired a lot of innovation. You know, the first version of a cell phone, a tablet computer, even a language translator was from that show. Gene Roddenberry, who created the show, really was a, a remarkable visionary. But you, they still, you still can't beam me up. No. Hopefully that's coming. You still have to walk. It's unfortunate, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> In time.